This is Fortnite running on a 2.83 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Quad Q9550 with 8 gigs of RAM and a NVIDIA Quadro K600 video card. I do have it running at low settings. Um, I guess technically the resolution could go lower if you wanted it to. Um, I don't think it's necessary though. It seems smooth, playable at okay frame rate at this setting level. Um, this is definitely not a competitive machine. This is more like a machine. This is a machine I designed and put together as a, a nice little home machine for somebody that wants something cheap, but also doesn't want to have something with absolutely zero gaming capability whatsoever. It's not a lot, but um, Fortnite's actually a fairly demanding game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna test it on a few other uh, games. Um, uh, older AAA titles, maybe some Crisis Three stuff like that, and I'm I'm guessing, or even. Uh, even uh, Titanfall 2, I'm guessing will actually probably run fairly decent on this. I honestly don't think the setting level is quite bad enough to compromise the gameplay experience either. I wouldn't normally say that, turning it down this low, but honestly, once you're, um... Once you're fully immersed in the gameplay, it's not as bad as I would have thought. definitely gives you a good idea if you've got a um if you've got an older machine um certainly a few minor upgrades will give you playability on even some newer stuff like this um this is actually one of those uh one of those little tiny small form factor machines
Um, if you're if you're looking for a good small form factor card, um, one of these one of these little K six hundreds is probably going to be one of the more readily available ones, just because of the fact that um, uh, these these cards went into a lot of units like this that were intended for light engineering use. So anyone that wanted to be able to do any really light CAD or um, uh, solid works or anything like that a few years ago, this is this this is the smallest and most affordable card that you would have been able to get for that. And so I'm I'm guessing that a lot of these were configured for that purpose. It's not a bad little light gaming card though. I'm I'm kind of impressed. I'm, I'm guessing I will probably be, I mean, I, I'll probably be even more impressed seeing this run something like Crisis 3. I bet it'll run it better than one would think. And of course, keeping in mind, this is this is intended to be a $100 machine. I'm probably going to sell this for $100. Um, anything less than that, I can't really justify throwing away a Windows 10 license on it. But I mean, and this isn't bad. I mean, a machine that can do this runs Windows 10 fully legitimately licensed and can run, you know, can run Fortnite at a playable level uh, for a hundred dollars. I mean, I, I, I don't think you're going to get much better than that. I probably wouldn't, um, I probably wouldn't recommend upgrading your own machine to this just because unless you have sources of the type that I do, um, you're, you're going to pay more than it's worth for the parts to upgrade this. I mean, if you look at something like eBay, I mean, you'll probably pay somewhere between 20 and $40 shipped for the memory to upgrade to 8 gigs. Um, and you'll probably end up paying somewhere between 20 and $30 for the video card. Um, and most of these little Dell units of this age don't have this nice of processor in it. And Fortnite is picky about processor. So you're probably going to spend another $10, $15 by the time you ship it for a chip. So to try to buy this and, and upgrade it yourself, or if you already have something and just want to upgrade it to use it like this, I don't necessarily know if it'd be cost effective without without this kind of access to parts, but if you can get a hold of a machine like this for $100, I think it's a perfect little machine for the price. Especially if you want something for the kids that they can destroy and not have to worry about the cost. speed it doesn't seem to be that bad
Okay, so that's kind of fun. Um, that should give everybody a pretty good idea of what to expect on the uh, on a Core 2 quad with a, uh, a decent low-end video card. Um, I hope everybody finds this interesting, and thanks for watching the video.